Hi, this is Sharif with CGS Computers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a header and footer using the free Elementor rather than the Pro. And uh, we're going to do that using a plugin made by Brainstorm Force, which is the same same group of guys that make uh, the Astro theme, which is like the most popular non-default theme for WordPress. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here I've got my demo site. It's a you know basic installation of Astro. The only thing that I've done is giving it given it a site title and a uh, a logo, a site logo, and the customizer. Everything else is default. So let's go on the back end here. <clears throat> I'll show you really quick what we have installed. So the plugins we have. Um, I'm using Astro Pro, but this works even if you don't have Astro Pro. Um, Astro Customizer Reset, but you actually don't need. I just use that because it's a demo site and it helps me reset things back to the beginning. Um, Astro Widgets, we won't even need that either. So we got Elementor, Elementor Header and Footer Blocks. So this is the plugin um, that you want to use. It's by Brainstorm Force. Um, you can look at it uh, on the repository. Uh, it works with every theme, and um, I use it with Astro, but you can use it with anything you want. Um, what it lets you do is create Elementor blocks and assign them to the header, the footer, or just any other block in a page. Um, and the rest of this is, is, is not being used. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to look at the header and footer blocks. Now you get a menu under, it's under appearance. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not under, an, it's not an Elementor template. So if you use Elementor, um, you used to go in templates and finding your stuff there. It's not there. You're going to find it under appearance, header, and footer block. So let's just create a header. Now I'm not going to make pretty headers. I'm just, I just want to show you how this works. Um, so let's just call this main header. And then we have the option of what kind of template it is. I'm going to call it, it's going to be a header. And you get to display it on wherever all these different options. You can essentially use this tool to create headers for different parts of your website, which is really nice because, you know, that's one of the features that Elementor Pro really sells themselves on, and you can get it using this plugin for free. Uh, for this, I'm going to make it simple. We're going to do the entire website, and then we're just going to publish it. And after we publish it, we're going to do edit with Elementor. So now we have a blank, a blank screen here to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first I'm going to create a section, and then I'm going to create an intersection uh, in there. Uh, let's see intersection, and let's give that three columns. Um, so. Let's, let's talk about like our basic items. So you usually have a logo. So in, in Elementor Pro, you would typically either use a logo widget or you would use a, a, an image widget. And then if you're building this from scratch, you would use a, an image widget and then you would use a dynamic field to make it point to whatever your logo is set to. But that's a pro feature. So what Brainstorm Force has done is actually in the header and footer, they actually have in that header and footer blocks plugin, they've got a couple, uh, eight uh, different widgets that are built just for doing this stuff. So one happens to be the site logo. So we can actually drag the site logo right in. We can tell it how big we want it to be. In this case, I want to use a thumbnail. And um, I actually want it a little smaller than that. So we're going we're gonna to shrink this column back some, maybe to... Uh, 10% and then we're also going to go and let's take a look at the other ones they have so we probably want the site title up here um, so that's that's also available now again these are things that you wouldn't be able to do without Elementor Pro because the these these widgets don't exist um, without using uh, dynamic fields and again if you try to use a dynamic field you're not going to be able to get it because Pro is not active so this is our, our website title and then let's say we also want to do a menu and again if you if you search for menus you'll see that there's there's a there's a nav menu that's for pro but you can't use it because it's pro right but 
header and footer blocks gives you one as part of the plugin. So let's go ahead and grab that. I've already got a main menu set up. Um, let's do a let's see primary primary menu. We'll set that up, and then you can choose layouts in here. You can do you can how you want them. You want it centered. You want it right justified, um, left. Uh, we're gonna do right, and then we're actually gonna do um, I'm gonna do the page title centered. And then let's say we also want to get we want to we want to get a little more fancy with it. And let's say we do want to make a, a background image on on this section. So let's go ahead and make a section style. So you can do the same stuff you would normally do with uh, with Elementor. You can make a background color. You can do any of that stuff. Um, we can actually even we can actually use an image if we want. So I got a couple images in here. Here's a, a beach picture. You can insert that. And then let's see, we can position it. Let's say center, center, uh, size, uh, cover. And of course, that makes our lettering look like garbage. So let's go back and look at do a background overlay. Um, we'll do we'll do a full white background, and we'll make it let's say seventy percent. It probably looks okay. And let's say we also want to make this uh, this header. We want to give it a specific a specific height. So let's go ahead and make it a min height. I don't want it quite that big, but maybe I want it. Um, maybe I want it 300. And then uh, we still want the content to be at the top. All right. So there's our header. If we update this. And now if we go back and we take a look and then we look at our website, you'll see here's our header. We've got our new header. And and because it's Elementor, you can keep adding section on section on section and make this header as big as you want, mega menu. You can do all the same stuff you would normally do with Elementor Pro, except using the free version. Um, and so all of these all of these options are there. And again, you can make different you can make different ones for different pages or different categories. So there's really no limitation. You, you get essentially the same, uh, the same benefit. And it's an interesting tool because, you know, back when I first bought Elementor Pro, the, one of the primary reasons I bought it was to do headers and footers. Um, and here you can do it for free. So I probably could have gotten away with not buying it. Now, I, it's still a great purchase. I use it for other websites for more than just that. But... Uh, there's there's a lot of there's a if you all you're looking for is this you can actually do it without having to go there So let's go ahead and do a footer uh, We're gonna go same thing header appearance header and footer blocks We're gonna go ahead and make a new one And we'll just call this main footer it's going to be a footer. Now they also give you the option to do a, cust a uh, before footer, which means it'll still use the themes footer and it'll drop this right above it between the content and there, which is a really nice feature too, especially with a theme like Astro where their footers are generally really good anyway. Uh, we'll make this on the entire website, publish it. I'm going to add it with Elementor. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a section, and then within there we're gonna make a intersection. We'll just make this one two. Uh, we'll make this one two um, columns, and then we're gonna go ahead and do let's do a a copyright. So they even have so they even have a copyright block, which is really nice. Um, and you can see they got some short codes in here on, oh, that's my grammar, Lily. I don't want that up there. Um, so you have some short codes in here you can use that actually give you the, the, the different pieces. Um, we'll just leave that as it is. And then let's say uh, on this side we want to use... Say we just want to do a search. And we'll hit. 
and maybe I want maybe I want this to be. I'll just show you what a uh, a regular color looks like. Update. Now again, I'm not going for pretty here. I'm just going for proof of concept, so you can see how to do it, and then you can make your own designs. So now, if we go back and we look at the site, you'll see we have our header up here, and we have our footer down here. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Um, you can you can get headers similar to, and footers similar to this if you just use Astro Pro. Um, but you know this would be like if you just want Astro free, you want Elementor free, and you don't want to pay for anything additional. So that's it. Uh, it's pretty easy. I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll put some links to. Uh, Elementor's current pricing, Astro's current pricing, in case you guys want to look and, and see how much those cost and buy. They are affiliate links, so just my disclosure. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I try and get to all the comments within a couple days. Um, one of my other videos got quite a few views for my channel, quite a few views. And uh, I've, I've managed to keep up with, with all the questions. So um, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.